A lot of you really liked my video about what is the best way to dry your hair, air drying or blow drying. This is the study that I cited. And before I explain it, let me just introduce myself real quick. I'm Dr. Joyce, board certified dermatologist. I make a ton of content here about hair, skin, and nails and watch to the end for the best way to dry your hair while minimizing damage. Researchers in South Korea looked at different ways that the hair responded after being washed, shampooed, and then dried using various parameters. Dried either air drying or with blow dryers and at five, 10, or 15 centimeters away from the head, as well as different temperatures. They then used electron microscopy to really look at the hair shaft as well as the cell membrane complex to see if there was any damage. As you might've guessed, blow drying caused damage to the hair shaft, so the outer portion of the hair. You can see here longitudinal cracks outside of the hair shaft, and these cracks and the damage got worse as the temperature of the blow dryer was increased. Of note, no lifting and no cracks were seen in the treatment groups that were air dried. However, interestingly to me, in the groups that were air dried, electron microscopy actually showed bulging of the cell membrane complex. This result is surprising because who knew that air drying would be so damaging? Turns out that a certain part of your hair shaft swells in response to water. So the more time your hair is exposed to water, such as during air drying, the more damage it can sustain. Quick aside, why do we even care about the cell membrane complex? Turns out it's the glue that holds different parts of your hair, like the cuticle, the cortex, and the medulla together. So we don't want that glue to break down. So what do we do with all this information? The researchers concluded that the best way to dry your hair was using a blow dryer at the lowest setting at 15 centimeters from your head and continuously moving the hair dryer throughout. So never leaving that blow dryer on in one place for very long. So no certain part of your hair will get exposed to very high temperatures. They found that that was even better than air drying because you don't have that long exposure to water. A lot of people had all sorts of feelings about this study, so feel free to sound off in the comments and I'll try to make response videos as quickly as I can.